Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. My name is T Captain X, and in this video, it's going to be a very simple and quick tutorial on how to find your correct sensitivity for playing Splitgate or any other game, in fact. Now, Splitgate seems to be following a unique scale when it comes to their sensitivity. I tried copying my Call of Duty Sense straight into Splitgate, and it definitely felt off. And I wanted to find an accurate way to be able to convert it so that my sensitivity from playing a previous game felt exactly the same in split gate. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to mouse-sensitivity.com. Once we're here, just scroll down a little bit and whatever game you know your sensitivity from. So in my example, it's going to be uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, you're going to type in your sensitivity. I know I play on 3.2 in game. Type in your DPI as well. You don't, if you don't know your mouse's DPI, that's okay. Uh, as long as it is the same for both games, you can make up any number. It really doesn't matter. Now, you ideally should put your resolution of your monitor in. The majority of monitors are going to be 1920 by 1080. And then if you can put the monitor size, I'm on a 24 inch. Most are either 24 or 27. I do recommend putting in the FOV or field of view that you play on in game because for some reason, split gate, depending on your FOV, actually changes your sensitivity. So let me show you the example. So once we have everything from Call of Duty or whichever game you're coming from in the first tab, you're gonna go to the next tab, type in split gate, it's gonna come up and then you wanna make sure you put in here the field of view that you're playing on Splitgate. I'm playing on the max field of view in Splitgate, which is 103. The default is 90 though, I believe. And then once you have that, scroll down and this is going to kick out our Splitgate sensitivity. So for mine, my war zone was 3.2, but it's 1.969 Splitgate. Now, just to show you as an example, if I were to change my fob back to 90, the default, it actually does change my sensitivity. And I did test this in game and it definitely did feel different. So I definitely recommend, make sure you know all of this information so that you get an accurate sensitivity. And I've been playing around on this. It does feel very accurate. I've been playing on the same sensitivity for quite a while in Warzone and it does feel good. Now, if you're brand new to playing mouse and keyboard games and you have no idea where to start for your sensitivity, I'd recommend somewhere in the ballpark of about 30 centimeters when it comes to do a 360 degree turn. And so for a split gate, that's gonna roughly be about a 3.5 in-game sensitivity with an 800 DPI. Then play around from there and go up or down. All of it is personal preference. If you wanna play way higher, that's fine, or play way lower like myself, that's great too. Whatever works for you, that's just a very common sensitivity is about 30 centimeters in order to do a 360 degree turn. Guys, I hope this video helped you. If you're looking for more split gate information and tips, then consider hitting that subscribe button and also dropping a like because it helps me out a lot on the old YouTube algorithm. We'll see you in the next one.